is liquid. We've heard the panel's opinions. Not a lot, to, a lot of belief and trust in the support tight ends. Do, do you agree, Fog? Or do you feel the misery? He's got something up his sleeve here. So this is going to be, you know, this is, this is a little, it's on topic, but you know, this is talking in the past. So back on Navi US, Brax, my 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 captain, he was picking for me. He loved picking the tight runner. I actually played this for tight runner a lot. It was miserable. It's not, you know, you know, you know. However, uh, okay. it's gotten changed with the gush mana cost, so we can okay. actually use gush and be like this roaming kind of uh, like zoner and play maybe with the nature's profit and try to pressure the uh, the safe lane. So we'll see what he's able to do. And I think the planet odd has a lineup where they need to they need to end the game pretty early on with this troll. They have a pretty all in kind of thing too. And to just pressure, 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 and push with the Nature's Prophet and with Tidehunter in the front lines. And could work, but it's a bizarre one. That's for certain. But yeah, feeling that, playing that Tidehunter used to feel really bad, not sure about now. Maybe a little bit better, but still doesn't seem like it's the most ideal. Yeah, I mean, certainly just from a, a standpoint in terms of looking at these drafts and regarding the knowledge that we have from just general competitive games, you. Overall, you've just got to feel that Liquids is, is just the safer draft. And in terms of picks as well, the, the Nyx Assassin pickup, as talked about by the panel, seems very strong this game. Yeah, Two and GH on. is on one of his signature heroes that I've, I've seen him pretty much like never lose on. The Earthshaker, the, the uh, Coddle, and the Io are the big three for me for GH that just he always has a really damn good game on them. Definitely one thing to, to talk about as well is the fact that we do have the Nyx, of course, in, in the offlane position. It feels like more often than not recently, it's it's more more likely to be put towards the support role? I mean, is it just because of the fact that the hero itself is so strong against that of planet odds? You want to give that that, that hero that core role on the offline, the next. Yeah, it's in comparison to the Shaker in this game, he's able to actually pressure the lanes a little bit better yeah. with Shaker. Nyx is just going to be like, if it was a Nyx support, he's just kind of running between the lanes and he can't really help too much. So this is the better, better lane for this. And my control plays. He does play both, but GH is Urshaker, it's like his big signature one. They Fissure blocked mid lane to get Ma to a double wave at the start. And at the moment, of course, Planet Odd running these dual lanes, so it looks like the, the decision from Misery to put his presence up top and really try and slow down Miracle's farm at the start. Kuro coming into trade a little bit, but as we're seeing, I mean, the gush, the and gush, then the man. chase down, it, it really adds up with the Treants and the right click for the Nature's Prophet. Kuro GH, though, coming falls in. very low, there's the Fisher, only connects onto Misery, uh, sorry, onto, onto Moon, but Misery, he turns towards Miracle. And, I mean, we're seeing it there. The, the gush, the armor reduction, and then the punches. It can very easily zone some of these heroes out of the lane. It's pretty good now, because it used to be, like, 120 mana, and you used to only have, like, a 180-something mana pool, because, you know, everybody got the 50 mana at a couple patches ago, a lot of patches ago. So now he actually is able to spam the gush in a yeah. pretty decent manner. So maybe it'll work now for them. As we can see, so far with this opening, because of the presence of the two of them up there, only two CS on Miracle. He's certainly feeling the pressure, feeling the heat that Planet Otter putting on this top lane. Yeah, they're putting pressure. They know that the Earthshaker, Rubik, and AM, they don't want to have the three heroes up there at all times. They need to be able to move the heroes around so they can split the experience yes. and so the anti-mage can get to high before. levels. Gives a little bit more to the Nyx Assassin, though. That's the, what happens when you do these type of dual lanes. So my control is able to get a little bit more. But Rezo going for the Orb of Venom build on the troll to at least help zone out the Nyx while Shadow Shaman does the pulls and tries to get that much-needed experience. Mid lane, CS Wise looks to be pretty close between Weeha and Matuma Man. Matuma with a slight edge, but uh, definitely even trading at the moment. Until those level 60s come online, very unlikely that either of these uh, are able to find and kill potential without a rotation or two coming through. Yeah. We do see GH back in the middle, picks up an arcane rune, ready to spam out a few fishes, keep the heat on for Weeha. Secondary no comes out for Matu, so it's last hitting for him is going to become a lot easier, so he should be able to pull a bit ahead. Weeha getting the bottle delivered, so more spam, but the base damage. Is, is much closer now. While Puck usually has a little bit of a lead now, Necrolite does. And continue the crush on Kuroki top yeah. with these gushes. Does grab the triumph, throws it down to get that stun to try and hold back the... Moon's got boots, board. he's TPing in. There we do, trying to cut off Kuroki. Kuroki, look for the Jukes down south. One more. Seeing these right clicks from Moon go to work. First blood in this top lane, and I've got to say so far, the, the Misery tied onto its presence and it's, pressure, it's working out. It's it. The gush, man, the early on gushes. Just a great amount of damage. And with now Moon going to have, be having phase boots this early in that top lane, they're going to be able to pressure a decent amount onto the anti-mage and Rubik. They're definitely going to slow down Miracle's farm by a good margin like this. And damn, Matu pulling super far ahead in the last. It's 20 and 6 over... Look at him over everybody else. The next highest is 15. 
absolutely climbing ahead in this middle lane over the last couple of waves. GH is, GH is really making Weeha's life a lot harder. It's not just Matu, it's GH there spamming non-stop Fissures. Weeha, Orb is on cooldown for five seconds. The Fissure's gonna be coming out. And they, they should get the kill here. Indeed they do. Liquid amping up the pressure. And, and as we're seeing, we are just getting absolutely crushed by this Necro now. And when you get the kill, especially in that, you get the kill as a Necro, Back you're, up full. To full. you're full. You're yep. full half full mana. And you continue the siege. Just Dota 2 things. And he's nearly got that level 6 as well, so then it becomes even riskier for Weeha in this middle lane. Another rotation from GH like that, and you can absolutely get the Reaper Scythe kill very easily. He's gonna be almost level and a half advantage. He's gonna have six now. Shadow Shaman bottom gets the shackles onto mind control, but GH making the rotation down. Yeah, they're gonna see if they can get something in return. They're moving in onto Saxon, turns around with the burst. In fact, with the Whirling Axes, they'll lose the Nyx Assassin. GH does find the Shaman in return, but it will be Planet Odd coming out on top, getting that offlane kill and, and getting it into the hands of Rezo as well. They will not mind losing the Shaman at all for that one. See mid lane Matumba playing incredibly aggressive here, feeling confident, diving past the tier one. Saxa has come across, starting to push him back. Misery looking for the body blocks here. They're going to try and take down Matumba and punish him for this very, very deep movement. He needs backup. They get the Wish block. To survive. Yeah, no one's coming across for this one. Post the ghost trap, but immediately on cue, Saxa comes in with the shackles. No escape for Matumba, and his aggression punished perfectly by Odd there. Good rotation from Misery coming down to bit that body block. Sock supports him, but without boots, it's really hard to catch up, but great body blocks. Top lane, Miracle, though, still getting pressured with those phase boots on Nature's Prophet. It really does put quite a lot of damage onto Miracle. Yeah, he, needs, he needs help, and he's getting it now. GH has rotated up towards the top lane. They're going to see if they can try and go for a play on Moon. Jump forward from Miracle. They've got a lot of control with the Telekinesis. Drag back into the stun from GH. Should be enough to get the kill, and indeed it does. Misery trying to find something in return onto Miracle. Won't quite get it there. The Fade Bolt, which using the damage of Misery, can't commit for the kill with the right clicks. And in fact, Misery himself in trouble. Liquid surrounded. Oh, oh Miracle! Oh, no! Oh, he comes back in, gets far too greedy, and Misery, he, he's over the moon with that one. I think he realized he was a goner. Didn't think he'd end up bringing down the anti-mage with him, though. And Kuroki now in some trouble. Moon TP's back toward top. Gets the teleport. Will he be able to get the body blocks in with the trees? They didn't get in front. Ooh, that fissure from GH may just be enough, and indeed it looks to be. We'll hold him back. They'll keep Kuro alive. But that miracle kill certainly shouldn't have happened. I probably didn't expect a level 2 Grush. Yeah. Level 2 Grush with that Anchor Smash. Good significant amount of damage with that minus armor. Support Tide Hunter coming to a pub near you soon. Rip. How we looking in the mid lane? Weeha still falling behind Matumba despite that kill that they did manage to get on him. About a 1k gold lead for Matumba Man. Nearly double the CS. Absolutely insane for him here. 51 CS at, uh, before the 7 minute mark on this mid lane. Absolutely incredible. Bottom lane. Trying to make a move onto Mind Control, Quick Impale onto Zaxa, holds back. MC's doing very well down here. I mean, it is a dual lane, so he has a lot more uh, leeway, a lot more freedom to be down there. But almost Arcane Boots in level 6 at yeah. the 7 minute mark on this Nyx. Absolute perfect timing for him. Mid lane, Matumba, never late. Again, if they want to have any chance of taking him down, they do need to, to send a lot of numbers there. A plus one, not necessarily enough. They need to have at least three as we saw last time, to get the chance of having enough control and nuke damage to bring down a Necro. that's had this sort of advantage in the laning stage. Yeah, and if he starts, starts to rack up stick charges, it becomes way more impossible because, you know, you see the Ghost Shroud stick combo is absurd with how much you actually heal. And he will be getting more and more stick charges every time Weeha uses the orb to push them off the tower. Bottom lane, my control and GH getting aggression up to Rezo. 150 HP. He's got the range drop though, and he'll be fine with those face boots too. And we'll juke it out. Looks like towards the uh, the mid lane, we did have the movement coming in from both Misery and Saxo. They'll actually turn attention back towards the top. Rezo totally alone here. In comes the Fisher. Mind Control looking for the connection with the Vendetta. Does find it. Not quite enough damage to get the kill. Weehar's turned up, drops the coil onto GH with a massive nuke coming out for the Nature's Wrath. They all get it. And they get top too with that. The Shackles plus the Gush and Nature's Prophet all enough to bring down the Anti-Mage. Now they're able to pressure an Anti-Mage's tower this early with the Nature's Prophet tied on their dual lane. Good and mid-tower is yeah. by Matu. Claimed. Michael will at least yeah, find something in return, but definitely the fact that this, this AM Anti-Mage is getting punished as heavy as he is. Certainly a worry for Liquid. 
mean, could it really be? You know, we've seen this, this whole tournament, anti-mage picks being thrown out left, right, and center. You could plan it out with the support Titan to be, have been the answer all along. So far, it's looking pretty good off the back of the lanes. And they're definitely making it work. Misery's levels are pretty damn solid too. Arcane Boots with level five already. Level three Gush, gonna have Ravage at a perfect timing. Pre, like just about 10 minute mark as we usually see most supports hit. They're level six. Mind Control making their way toward top, wanting to secure Miracle's farm with GH. Misery spotted. Oh, the Fisher, not, not really ideal there. They may still have the chain locked down. They will go for it with the Vendetta and the Impale. Miracle jumping forward, and that will secure it. Liquid do manage to dispatch a Misery. We are mid. Uh-oh. Gets lifted up. They've got the Reaper Sight, but ooh, unable to get it off. Yeah, quick waning rift in terms of the silence, and then the Hex as well, making it impossible for Matima Man to throw down the ult. They'll continue to see if they can chase. GH moving in, thinking about throwing down a Fisher, but Saxa already too far away up to the high ground. Will keep himself safe. GH down on the bottom. Holding back the troll with the Fisher, but in fact, Rezo could just move on on this, but the stun's with already the... thrown out, and the oh, Nature Wrath flying in. GH, oh, can the he get boots. out with the face boots? It should be enough to close the gap. The question is if they can punish Rezo. One TP coming in from Matumba Man. They should have more to block him off as well. Kuro, has he got the range for the Telekinesis? No, he hasn't. Rezo looks to be fine here. Has those face boots up again in a second, and gets away with the kill. That was very good usage by uh, Rezo there, switching into melee form and using the phase boots and switching back and instantly and getting the auto attack is just like perfectly done. Tome of Knowledge being used, being grabbed up by Misery, so he'll have his level six online for those next type of upcoming fights. Mid lane, Moon trying to just keep that pressure, but Mind Control's already set up there. Yeah, and there's backup coming in for the rest of Liquid. GH is here with the Fisher to lock Moon down, stuck on the wrong side of the Fisher here, dragged back into the enchant tournament. GH and Moon will be taken down. Did come in with that very aggressive TP to try and get that push going. He gets punished for it. We are dropping the Dream Coil. Nukes GH down, takes a free kill under the noses of three members of Liquid as they're unable to hold him back. That DD rune doing work. And on Planet Odd, look to maintain the pressure on this mid lane despite losing the Nature's Profit. It's what their lineup does early on. They need to keep that pressure up, get those early towers versus an anti-mage lineup. Got the TP from GH. Isn't gonna quite fry the Fisher as Planet Odd too far away. Now back off. Respect it, and space is being created for Rezo. Down at the bottom, 4.3k. Same time though, Miracle in the jungle is climbing himself back up into a favorable position, nearly back on par with the troll, despite the pressure that was put onto that top lane and the fact that they lost their tier one up there very early on. But it's not a free farm anti-mage. No. He doesn't have like, he's not gonna have like the treads and the battle fury at the next, in the next five minutes or so. If he doesn't get like a, in amount of incredible amount of kills. Bottom lane, GH in with the Echo Slam and Reapers to take down one, but the reaction's there from Odd. We are guess the silence on to Tuma. Tuma tries to TP out, he's not gonna make it. So they may have killed a Shaman, but quick reactions from Odd get the favorable trade, and now they're ready to push down on this bottom lane. Definitely not worth it. They have, they still have all their ultimates on Planet Odd too. This should be a quick and easy tower. No battle trends, they're not skilled yet, but still easy to bring down. And they've got Ravage and Dream Call online. They may even be able to, be able to continue this one. Shadow Shaman wards were expended because you know, Saxo was dying, so he wanted to just use them, but they don't need them for now. But the rotation's coming in. Roki HT beat it, but straight up with the gush in the orb. He's back out as soon as he's in there. Planet Odd. No mercy as they just move in, and we're really, it seems like Liquid just aren't prepared for the gush plays each and every time. Misery just throws it out, the team chase them down, and they can't do anything about it, Liquid. They're being zoned out away from the tier two. Planet Odd taking the tower down 12 minutes in, keeping the pressure high. Wow, damn. So now they make their way, they're going to make their way toward those other towers. If they can claim a lot of early tier, a lot of towers and get a lot of, get a lot of information into the enemy jungle, they're going to know exactly where Miracle is. And it's going to become harder and harder for Liquid to fight because of the gold that you get from killing those towers. Everybody else is just going to get stronger and stronger, and you have to fight a 4v5 into a Tidehunter Puck, which is extremely difficult. Mind Control already moving back over again with the rest of his team, trying to set something up. Trying to create some space for that anti to execute that farm. Certainly an easy kill there. Caught out alone, the Shaman's gone. Very easy pick for Liquid. Doesn't turn into anything though. It's just a kill, there's no tower or anything gained from it. And it's probably the least, it is the least successful kill that they end up grabbing there. I think that got done for Weeha. Liquid do start to close in on the middle lane though. Certainly having to respect the fact that Misery does have Ravage ready to pop. Have to be very careful how they're fighting to that, especially as we've seen with the 
the ability for Planet Odd to react to any sort of play that Liquid make close to any sort, any tower. TP is immediately coming through time and time again and ready to turn it around. Yeah. That's exactly what Planet Odd wants to, just, wants to just fight on top of those towers. That's exactly what they want. Moon TPing in aggressively in to go for this Matu up very far. Yeah, it's going to be trapped down. The Dream Core will be dropped. Fisher thrown out for GH trying to hold the bat, but the Hex is there from Saxon. But Tumor Man pops the Ghost Shroud, turns around with the healing, but the Reaper side straight onto the Tide Hunter. That's going to be Misery down. As talked about on the panel there, doesn't matter how tanky you are, if you get that low, you're going to be popping to Jeez, the Reaper side. Especially when there's a Veil on there too. And look at the item he has queued up, too, on Matu. Dagon being queued up to be able to get for those type of bursts. Very good. Spell damage builds are very good versus Troll Warlord in the early game until the BKB comes out. So that can make some sense, too, with their Earthshaker lineup. Well, Liquid are already on the move again. Mind Control, then dented up. Saxa heading towards the neighborhood. Does have the backup of Rezo. They'll spot out GH. GH turning. There's the Fisher into the Echo Slam. Wards will be dropped though by Saxa. Rezo trying to man up. Weeha jumps in with the silence and the nuke takes down the Shaker. Mind Control comes in with the stun, but he's held by Saxa. And indeed, Rezo gets down on 30 HP. Kuro will be successful with the TP out. But again, as we're seeing, I mean, it feels like Liquid is just making the mistake of trying to force fights near these entry points, near these TP places. The Shrines, the Tier 1s, where Odd immediately react. Now they're going to be able to transpire into getting Roshan as well, by the looks of it, as Liquid do not have a hope of contesting this. They've got the DD on Weeha. They're making very quick work of this indeed. And Planet Odd really keeping that momentum going that they need to, to get that edge over an anti-mage pick. They're doing a great job at it. They're playing uh, mostly reactionary now at this point, but it's Liquid like, kind of running into them and they're just prepared yeah. for it. And the mech is being built up on Misery, half, more than halfway there. Drums already were finished up for Moon earlier, almost with the Shadow Blade to go for those split push and pickoffs. And yeah, like you said, the blink on Weeha earlier and building into a Lincolns later on. Everyone's starting to get their big items, or their big uh, first set of items out to be able to continue that pressure. Battle Fury, though, finished up on Miracle, so he'll be able to start accelerating that farm, and the space that Liquid will be making will become more and more useful. As long as they don't, you know, hemorrhage too many kills while he is just doing his farm thing. Yes. Dagon finished up now on Matu. And plan it up. The siege continues. Yeah. Straight up to the Tier 2. Mind Control beginning to head over. Can they really do anything to stop this push? At the moment, it's it's just a case of, as you say, a miracle just being happy with the fact that he's getting space elsewhere. But soon he's going to have to turn up to the fights. Planet Odd, take that tier two. And They're going to go high ground. They've got Absolutely. Ages. We saw a similar play from Liquid in that last game, 15 minutes in, coming up onto this top lane. And now they're trying it themselves, and they don't need to know Huskar to do this. They will lose the, the Aegis immediately, though, as Batumba Man pops him there with the Dagon. And, and that's going to be enough to stop him. <laughs> no more Hagner push. Yeah, he just gone. Planet on. Not wanting to give away too much of this, this momentum that they built up. So much magical burst from Liquid with that fail. Miracle continuing his farm in the enemy jungle this time around. With the Treads battle theory finished up, is, it starts to become much, much faster. Yeah. Well, if he continues at this pace and gets the, the Manta style in good time, that's, I feel that's definitely going to be the point where Planet Odd really needs to worry about the stage the game has got to. Mm -hmm. As he, he is going to be very tricky to catch once that Manta is complete. All of Liquid grouped up as four. Same thing they've been doing for the majority of the game, trying to go for those type of space creation plays for Miracle. Again, now they're going, di dictating the pace of the game continuously. Let's see what they can find here. Misery's actually changed the build up from the mech and going double back for the blink dagger. And Misery's gonna walk into this. They found the Titan to drag it back immediately with the Reaper's Scythe. He is just gone. Down for 50 seconds. No hesitation whatsoever. So scary. I mean, we saw, if they get the Titan, they can get anyone like that. Whoever walks into that sort of a smoke with that Dagon Necro, they're just gone. So much spell damage. The Veil comes out, you throw the Reaper before the damage comes out, but it all gets applied as it finishes. Oh, it looks like they want to fight here, though. It's a little risky with no tide under for 20 seconds. The tier one will still fall. And I mean, odd that, yeah, they're, they're in the neighborhood, but they're not looking to, to try and hold Liquid in place. But despite indeed that early, that early flow they got going, I feel like, I know it's, it's still early, 18 minutes in, but Odd have got to start to worry a little bit now. Yeah, it feels it's like it's already down. getting to the stage. You know, you look at the net worth. 
He's at the top of the net. Well, the anti-mage's up. The miracle's there at the top. That's only going to continue unless you're able to break the high ground. They just tried it with the Aegis. Now they're going to have to wait quite a bit until they can get it again and go for a similar play. It's the net worth, but it's also his levels, because he's alone the entire game. So he's level 15. The next highest level person is like level, level 13. However, you can see the, dis the discrepancy of like the levels on the side of Liquid. It's like a 15 anti-mage, a 13 Necro, and then 9, 8, 8. They've got eyes on him here. Which happens with an anti-mage? They see him post-blink. Do they have the lockdown? We are coming forward. Oh no, oh, no. the Dream Coil, not quite in time. Miracle's out with the first blink. They do have the haste rune on Weeha. He's going to try and chase this down, but Miracle blinking out to the side. I don't think they're going to be able to catch him. They can't get the completed chase down. And just unfortunate for Odd that they didn't get the initial stun with that coil. Very close to getting that kill. Misery now changed up a little bit too. Well, oh, just added a cloak in the build so he can't just die from that type of explosion that they do have for magic damage. But continuing their aggressive plays, grouping, staying as a unit on Odd. How's GH doing on Blink Dagger? 70 gold till GH has Blink too. So Liquid is definitely hitting their timings. They really are. Middle lane, wards drop down immediately. Odd needs BKB so badly on the Troll Warrior to be able to actually go for those uh, better, bigger sieges. Like BKB Aegis is the next big timing for them to actually consider going for the high ground push. There's that blink pickup, as mentioned, on GH. Let's see what he can do with this liquid. Trying to do their best to stop this push, take the wards down. Tier 2's down to half health, but they will keep it alive. Planet odds sticking around, and yes, Miracle. Keeping it up, yep. all the way up to that 10,000 with DD rune now too, pressing the lane, and Forces forces force the Troll Warlord back. So doing a good job of stalling the game out for, for Miracle. Have we had a Ravage yet? I don't think he's been able to have a chance we've to have it, right? Not, no. we've not had a single Ravage yet. No. He's really unable to find that chance to do so. The last two times, he's just been... They, they normally go for him with the burst and the Reapers yeah. we've seen. If they can take him out and eliminate the threat of the Ravage, they could feel very comfortable in these sort of engagements now. Especially with that, that sort of rocky early game starting to pass over for them. And as you say, Miracle really hitting his stride. Once again, as we've seen time and time again here at Dream League, that anti-mage pick coming online. Matt is about to be finished. Yeah. Ideal timing. And almost level 18, too. Ah, oh, just not able to force anything else after their Aegis got popped so quickly, trying to go for that high ground siege. Roche can be starting to spawn in the next two minutes or so. Probably what we see in our next big engagement, unless there's a big pickoff from the GH Blink Dagger somewhere. Everyone, uh, everyone actually just now settling down and farming a bit since the waves keep getting pushed in on both sides. Close to that BKB on Reza. 500 to go. As you mentioned, Mantis Man, is there now. Full Miracle. He's looking to get involved in the fights next to BKB queued up for the anti-mage. Planet Odd may be waiting out for the next Roche, but this is valuable time. This is not it's favoring Liquid. This lull is not what they want to be happening right now. With a Tidehunter Puck, like a uh, Shadow Shaman and Ignatius Prophet, these, these four heroes want to be fighting and pushing towers and taking fights around the towers nonstop. The lull periods are never good when you're playing versus an anti-mage like this. Dyer's middle tower. But they do need to wait for that BKB because of that burst. And he's going to have it now finished up right after this next neutral camp. So maybe they'll try to go for something with that rather than waiting for the Roche. We are also approaching that Lincoln's. So that Lincoln's will actually be very useful versus the Reaper Scythe if they're able to time it to block. But Liquid on the move to get aggressive with that Blink Dagger on GH. They are in vision. They did see Misery for a second with that high ground ward. Planet Odd, ready to jump. Oh, but GH there on the back lines. Gets two with the Echo Slam. Ravage does come out, but already the Tide Hunt is gone. Miracle trying to commit the Ravage in return there. Does come out on the way down. Kuro's gone. Liquid, though, they've got themselves two. They've got the bigger kills. Miracle jumps across to Saxa. Three for two at the moment. And now Moon and Rezo have to get themselves out of there. The dust is out. Miracle jumping forward. Very little chance for Moon to escape as the impale from Mind Control Connect sets up the triple kill. 
and Planet Odd have really got to start to worry now. With a team fight going like that, uh oh, the momentum definitely building up for the side. This, we see here this high ground ward right there. Yeah. They see the back lines. GH able to get the perfect jump on the two of them. They end up they end up getting their spells off, Soxa and Misery. But the Ravage does get stolen. It's not like the Ravage really clips like too many heroes, but still they have the fight so split up by the Fissure and the Shrine is right there too. So Rezo is in an awkward position where he can't really get to lock anyone down with his with his right clicks with that PKB usage, including with the Ghost Sard from Matumba Man. Yeah, nice focus on Matumba as well to get the Reaper Scythe onto onto Weeha, taking the puck out for 70 seconds. Misery still quite a far, quite far away from his blink dagger as well on the tide hunter, the 1,000 gold. But the vision in that fight was definitely what dictated it with that quick initiation from GH. And now it's Liquid's time to get on there aggressive a little bit, push yeah. up. A, I mean, the pings there onto Weeha, they want to move in. Ooh, phase shift just in time to dodge the impale. In fact, Weeha wants to turn, jumps in, gets the two-man dream coil. Nature's Wrath real fly through as mind control and GH fall down low. Spike Carapus is out there, but Weeha jumps forward, will secure the kill onto Mind Control. They'll get one. Can they get anything else out of this? Misery, gush onto Matuma Man, looking for the chase down. Do they actually have the damage? Maybe if Reza can close the gap and post Ghost Shroud, they've got a chance. GH will be there with a the fish to hold them back. Moon moving forward as well. There's the instant Hex for Saxon. They'll give themselves a second. GH surrounded by the trees. Great play from Ock. They take down three. Move in and catch Liquid off guard. All of them were grouped up, Liquid kind of ran into a trap almost. That was without Ravage. Dream Coil was expended, but it'll be back up soon. Actually, at the same exact time as Ravage. Shadow Shaman Ward's ready, but not a good place to put them down there since the tower's already dropping. Miracle, looking to maybe go for some cheeky play here right, on the side. down. He takes Saxa. Can Odd punish this? They've got the silence. He's already popped the Manta. Have they got any follow-up control? Moon trying to cut him off. The Miracle's on the high ground. Goes for the TP out. No way to cancel it. So gets away with a cheeky pickoff. Moon did not have the Orchid yet, he was coming on the curve here. The Orchid maybe would have been able to get the silence for them to chase him down. Now Planet Odd certainly showing us that despite the strength of the Anti-Mage, they can still take these team fights. Yes. After that big team fight bottom, Miracle switched the build up instead of BKB, just rushes out the butterfly and he's got it finished already. 26 minutes, he's got the three big items already. And level 23, that is... It's scary. Pretty damn scary, yeah. The butterfly this early versus a troll warlord is really troublesome. There's no way to go through that evasion. Rezo's actually forced to build into a defusal blade next to because he's playing versus the ghost shroud of the necro. The mana burn's also quite nice versus also always quite nice in the damage you get from the defusal, but. Definitely needing it versus Necrolite versus Matamba Man. Because Saxa is having some trouble to get into the fight to get that lockdown. Mind oh. control now. Nine Eyes nine on Saxa. More trouble there, Saxa. Mind control going in upon him. The Fisher and the presence of Miracle. Miracle just jumps in. Thank you. Some more bonus gold. Typical anti mage contribution. Mm -hmm. But yeah, coming up to 19,000 net worth on Miracle. Okay, we've got the big. Secondary initiation now for Planet Odd. Level 12 on Misery, and he's got the blink. So now it's all about the vision game. If they're able to see that back line, then they can actually start the fights pretty pretty decently. Oh, GH. Not quite catching Misery there indeed, thanks to that newly found blink dagger. The pressure is on up. Planet Odd. They've got to take it for a farm game now, though. It's already hit the point where I think they're realizing they're like, there's no way that we can just like bum rush and break high ground versus this team. It's way too difficult versus all the burst. So, got to prepare for those later stages. We have with the Lincolns, Yule's, Yule's queued up. Looks like they actually want to go for a smoke and make a big play coming up with that Ravage Blink Dagger. Okay. I mean, Liquid, of course, will be aware of the blink with that they know that misery. They know that Miracle's completely bottom, though. They just spotted him with their ward, so... I mean, if they can catch the team minus Miracle, Planet Odd can definitely take the fight. Yeah, and they have eyes on Kuro right now. Put a sentry oh, down, too. There's the jump, and immediately mind control with the response in pale. Misery does still get the four man Ravage out. Can they finish off the kill? Shackles there. On to the Shaker. That'll be two down. They will lose Misery as the Reaper's side flies through. But, oh, Roche is up, and it Rezo has a DD. And they drop the Serpent Ward straight away. This is Aegis Cheese. There's no Shaker. Shaker actually committed the Echo as well there, too. 
So this should be a nice, clean, easy Roche for Planet Odd. Can Liquid do anything about this? And indeed, with the speed that is going down, I don't think they can. It's already dropped, and in fact, with the silence, they're ready to try and move in for more. Weehar jumps forward, phase shift to dodge the Impale from the Nyx Assassin. But Timberman's trapped up, has the Ghost Shroud, but there's the Diffuser Blade chunking into the Necrophos as they get themselves another, looking towards mid lane. Miracle slowed down by the Diffusal Mantis, looks towards the Blink, can they find the chase? He's gone off to the east, Miracle straight up with the TP out, will get himself back to safety. But as we're seeing some really nice calls being made from, from Planet Odd. That was massive, playing around their vision perfectly there. They were like, yep, Miracle's bottom, we go run into them, hopefully we run into a couple heroes, and they ran into three. The Echo Slam pushes the Kraken Shell through the threshold, and that's what allows Misery to get that four-man perfect Ravage here. Very little they can do to stop Misery getting that off. Four-man Ravage, three-man Dream Coil. They're a little bit split off, so they can't get the other two follow-up kills right away, but then they do just get a Roche. So that's a big big thing there for them to at least not worry about Liquid having to get that one, and it gives them a little bit more breathing room because there's, it's still this terrifying anti mage who's super, super massive. And that's the thing as we saw there, you know, the fact that just Miracle's position could only turn up to the fight after it's pretty much all but over. Yeah. Next time, if he's around for the fight, things could be certainly a little different. We'll get a heck stop. Rezo is there as well, but the immediate stun from Mike Joe holds it back. The fan Miracle just turns with the man style, looks at Rezo, bursts down the Aegis with the mana void. Weehar comes in with the silence, but they really can't go back in on this one planet. Oh, they have to back up. Fighting Liquid when they have Miracle amongst them is pretty darn impossible. Rezo? Especially with the fresh BKB finished up. Didn't have to use it there, but yeah, it's, it makes it a lot harder for them to actually like, lock him down and burst him. Level 25 now finished up as well as anti mage so that additional agility. 25 armor with also the evasion is pretty damn durable. Gonna be queuing up the bots next on Miracle to continue that split push, while, and also being able to join the fights. It's actually a really good pickup that he'll be getting very soon. So now he doesn't have to worry about that type of situation happening, where it's like, oh, I'm bottom, and they may take a fight near the shrine. Now he's actually able to join that. Full BKB also was picked up by Matu after that engagement near the Roche. More survivability for him. But it's mostly, yeah, it's mostly the anti-mage versus what Planet Odd has to offer because he is pretty much exclusively the one farming. Matu's farming a tiny bit, but it's 90% going to Miracle. The other three are very minimal in the farm. Mike Control spending majority of his time, as he should be, you know, running around scouting in the Vendetta. What items are we seeing being finished off by the Natures? I mean, what's he... What's he going for BKB next. He's going for the BKB next. So he can so actually be in yeah, the fights. Pretty close as well to it. Yep. 21 to 17. Indeed, a slight lead for Planet Odd in regards to overall net worth. Experience still going for Liquid slightly, but that'll happen when your anti-mage is, you know, such a quick level 25. Yule's now finished up for Weeha. And Sox is approaching that Blink Dagger, which will be very nice for them to get that additional lockdown. And we go some very impressive stats there from Miracle's AM. Liquid's trying to fight. Will they have the vision advantage for the engagement? It looks like they will for the time being, but Who's Odd actually does have the high ground right do. now. But can they get that jump in? What's the plan? Sax is looking for it. Oh, oh. Wait, well, it kind of blinks into the trees a little bit awkwardly. Pops the BKB though, turns towards Sax, and Sax is trying to run away. But Miracle will chase him down. Takes down the Shaman. Reaper Scythe dropped onto the Titan. They've lost two. They do get the Nyx Assassin in return, but Miracle's just cleaning up. Finds the double kill as he picks up Moon on the Nature's Prophet. The rest of Liquid surrounding Weeha. Echo Slam holds him in position. Planet Odd lose a four. And the expected outcome there when Planet Odd get caught toe to toe with the full five mana liquid. Miracle with that BKB just uncontrollable in these team fights. It's the double BKB. He can't get a good Ravage off. Miracle just jumps in with no fear. Sox unable to get any spells off and just dies in one fissure. Actually, it wasn't even no fissure. He just got chased down. The fissure was held, but the Ravage clips him, yeah. They're unable to really fight into these double BKBs. Rezo unable to really get on top of anybody except for just the Nyx Assassin. That was his full BKB duration, just to, just to beat on the Nyx. I mean, at least uh, a good call from Rezo. You know, he gets the kill and he doesn't stick around. He's out of there. So he keeps his life intact. But it's still definitely a worry in terms of the overall flow of the game for Planet Odd. As Liquid claims their first lead in the game in the last 30 minutes. Or 25 minutes. Structure after structure. 
Miracle moving around. Not a fear in the world. Rezo needs an MKB to be able to stand toe to toe with him. He's getting there. He's on his way. He's pretty close, about 1400 away. A liquid ready to bounce if anyone on planet Earth dares come out of the base. Oh, we are. I'll get caught out by the spike carapace. But at the least, I mean, that will stop him from going up to the high ground himself. Mind control looking to chase down. Tries to get the impale, but a quick blink out. We'll keep we are safe and sound for now. Blink dagger now for Batu. One catch. If the vision game is so important for this one, to, for whoever gets the initiation. Yeah. Yes. If the BKBs get online, then Misery's, you know, this is what the, you know, what we were talking, they were talking about on the panel and everything too, is Tidehunter, in comparison to the Enigma, he's not a BKB piercing disable. So if the, once those BKB comes out, you feel very weird about using your Ravage. The two, the two main heroes that you want to be focusing down are yellow and they're immune to damage, or immune to magical, and you just start like, I don't want to use my Ravage on the other ones, because the Ravage, ideally, in this game is, you Ravage, you get the coil, you get the lockdown so that Troll can actually get onto the anti mage and feed him down, but it's just way too difficult when they have that magic immunity. Abyssal Blade, full, finished up now on Miracle. Maybe we see Liquid go for their own smoke, and they do. What's the plan here? The line also being drawn by Planet Odd towards their own Ancients. We are moving in, has to be careful. Fresh gem picked up by Planet Odd, so at least gonna have a little bit of vision oh. help in those fights. Quick phase shift and a blink out. We are avoiding the smoke movement. And that should get the intel for Odd to stay safe for a little bit. They know that Liquid were hunting, and Liquid will be unsuccessful in terms of getting a kill out of that move. It's planted on indeed just up on the high ground, waiting until they see an opportunity themselves to go out on Liquid. And with the quick reveal of Liquid now pushing out the bottom lane, Planet Odd knows it's a little safer to move back out. Yeah, they were still afraid. They were looking at top. Top's pretty pushed in. Bottom was pretty pushed in by the Treants from Moon. And they knew that something was up. Roche can start spawning in the next 40 seconds or so. Miracle continuing to just farm everywhere. They do not have the MKB complete on Resident. They do now. So if they can somehow lock down Miracle, the damage will be there. If they can get the jump. If they somehow can get that jump. How's Soxa doing on Blink? Soxa will have Blink Dagger as well, but you know, these are all things that don't pierce BKB. So that be, as long as, if they can get it all off before the BKB and they can just get like a perfect initiation, that's ideal for them, but it's very tough versus that liquid lineup. We huh? getting spouted, scouted by Miracle. Miracle. Breaking the Lincolns with the Mana Void so he can get the Abyssal, but yeah, we huh? with quick Blink away. Miracle's gonna continue to try and chase it, but he's actually run into the full lineup of Vaughn. They turn with the Hex. Rezo commits. Oh, it's a Miracle. Trap. It is an absolute trap. And oh, now they're looking dear. to continue. Moon deeping in, going for a curse. Knife looks like. Got, got it. Dude, are they gonna be able to claim anybody else? I, they're looking. They may. I mean, they've got eyes on Matsu. The rest of Planet are coming in. They'll throw down the trees. Matsu will turn with a quick burst and nuke down the Nature's Prophet. Misery. Holding on to the Ravage, Matsu goes bash. for the BKB TP out, bash. no bashes are there. The RNG not on the side of Rezo. And well, with that Nature's Prophet down for 90, that, that could be pretty crucial in the state that it may hold Planet off, off, off from pushing, despite the fact that they... I mean, they just got the easiest kill of their life on that Miracle Anti-Mage. Let's, let's see if Roche respawns in five seconds. If they notice and it respawns instantly, that would be pretty damn good for Planet Odd. They are going to try and push And by it does respawn instantly. <laughs> Look at that. Do they notice it? I think Misery they're just banged it, right? Yeah, they're going to go check it. That's, that's pretty damn fortunate for them. <laughs> okay, Nages and Cheese. Anti-Mage is dead for 40. Liquid can't contest this one. Wow, that's, that, that's probably the most fortunate thing I've seen happen in a while. I mean... It's always the thing, is it? With, with the anti-mage games, you, regardless of how far ahead you get in farm, one slip-up can yeah. really just cost you big time because it's just such a huge percentage of your team's overall worth and presence on the game yeah. because of the farm that you've collected yourself. Well, I mean, he is the whole... He is like the, the, the majority yeah. of the presence, yeah. He, the rest of them are just like locked down and locked down so he can do all the damage. Right, Liquid certainly can't afford to have those mistakes happen again. A miracle is back up. The team immediately back to looking to go aggressive. They're not. Yeah, they don't care that there's an Aegis grabbed up. 
We hot, looking at Miracle. Says what's up, A shifts, jumps bit of, away. A bit of spam pings there. <laughs> <laughs> wake up, wake up. Well, 23, 22, again, less than a 1K lead for Planet Odd. Very close at the moment. I feel like so many of our games here have been like this. It's yeah. like 30 something minutes in and there it's like a 1K lead. Yeah, the quality of the games here, this Dream League has got to be some of the best yeah. overall. I've seen Alan in, in quite a while in terms of just game by game. There's not been any bad ones, it seems. Yeah. Every story, very different, huge variety of picks, incredibly high level play. Some slip ups, but yeah, it's Dota 2. You it's know. Bound to happen. Well, you can't have a game of Dota 2 with someone messing up now and then, mm -hmm. even at this level of play. So with now the full SNY finished up. It's got more ways to actually get into the fights and catch up. How's our Misery doing? Misery actually has a full Glimmer Cape now finished up, and they gave him the cheese, so he can... Oh, they actually, they have two cheeses stacked up, yep. but Weeha has one and Misery does, okay. Liquid all set up for bottom. Yeah, Planet Art is certainly going to have to do something about this if, if Liquid do continue to push in. But they, as we can see, they're certainly respecting the Aegis and the Cheese, in fact. Radiant Miracle, poking in, forces Radiant out the fortification. And we will start to see some of Planet Odd head back. Put an end to this slow siege with the illusions. Soxa, during that, places some nice cheeky wards to make sure that they get vision while the anti-mage is going out to farm. So this is, this is the wards that will hopefully find them a chance to find the pickoff on him that they really need in order to be able to go for that high ground siege. Haste. So 40 minute mark hits. We've got the double rune starting to spawn now. Haste rune bottom, arcane rune top. Oh. And the Reaper's sight right away on Moon. He's yeah. got BKB though. He needs to try to turn. Try and turn. Yeah, quick blink out from Matu. And yeah, the, the nuke damage not quite enough to straight up solo the Nature's Prophet. This has the gem. Mm. Just still Weeha has the gem. And now GH actually picks one up for Liquid. I'll see if they had one beforehand. Gotta be able to need to do that when you see them, you know, get out of the base like that. And you're expecting them to do wards when they go so far aggressively. And it's all about the initiations in these fights. With me. I mean, trying to shove this top lane back up. Really wants to try and maintain hold of this tier two. Absolutely vital to have at least one up so you don't have that threat of being instantly megged if a fight does go quickly down south for yourselves. Weeha's farm has slowed down a lot. As to be expected, though. You're running a tricore. So, and Nature's Prophet always constantly shoving the lanes in with the ultimate. Huck isn't able to find actual places to get that levels in farm. So, it's still only level 20. And we did see him cure up the Ags earlier. Certainly would be... That'd be really nice. Would be really nice. Yeah. yeah. The there we go. Three Tome of Knowledge to be given to Weeha now. He really wants to get that level 25 so he can get that 420 GPM online. Look at Planet Odd go. They want to try and force something up top straight away. Look at the Kuroki. There's the Diffuser Blade dodge. But the damage just comes in from the troll. Easy kill for resolution. That ward. They know it's there, though. Liquid did walk by it with the gym. So that one should get dewarded pretty soon now afterwards. But this is a pickoff. This is where they can actually try to get some siege damage since they still have the Aegis. Yeah. Wards are dropped. an Aegis ready to go. Fisher to catch on to two. New King sacks it down very low, but he moves back with the Glimmer Cape. Resolution trying to get on position on the high ground to beat into that tower, but there's Miracle jumps in with the Abyssal Blade. That's going to be the troll down once. Aegis popped. Can they kill him a second time? Mind Control looking for the timing with the stun, but the BKP is already He's out. Trapped. Resolution is trapped up indeed, though. Miracle jumps back in. Rezo trying for the TP out. Will he make it? Oh my god, no, he doesn't. Liquid will claim the kill. Now ready to move on for more moon. TP's out. No stun to get him for the BKB. He will be fortunate enough to get out. But Liquid desperately chasing, wanting to punish Odd even more. Being forward, looking for Saxa. Saxa himself already out. Sticks around for a bit of farm. Efficiency is his finest. He has got an anti-mage problem and he will get paid for the greed there. <laughs> as Miracle cleans him up. Yeah, that was damn good fissure block. Good, good coordination, good call from the team there. Just being like, all right, we burst him down once and then, yeah, he's the only one up on the high ground, so. Can they force these buybacks out there? That's the question. We've got 50 seconds without resolution. Liquid ready to go down the middle lane. Miracle's got 8,000 gold. Here we go. There's the first buyback. Saxa straight in. 
All of the dash for the anti-mage is the troll warlord, so there we go. Troll has to buy back. We Gage. are wanting to find at least something to punish Liquid. They do get the hex follow up onto GH. GH will pay with his life. Expensive though. Yeah, two buybacks coming out. I think, you know, Liquid, they'll look at that. They won't mind that GH went down there. They'll nope. take that, absolutely. Puts them in such a good position having these buybacks now on cooldown for Planet Odd. They get a repeat of this, and indeed, if Matuma Man managed to land to the side, get that extra extra death timer on these big cores like Rezo, the game could pretty much be all but over. Well, that's to see, 25 to 24. I think definitely impressive, at the least, that the Planet Odd are hang hanging on this well, despite how big Miracle is. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, we saw Miracle get this lead about... You know, 15 minutes ago, it was already looking like this anti-mage was a huge threat. But Liquid haven't been able to end the game. Planet Odd, still able to take fights. But they did have a couple yeah. good of series of events, though, right? That, True. The trap the that they set for Miracle, yeah. and then they get the Roche respawns perfectly for them, too. So that gave them a good leeway of, like, maybe, like, 10 minutes or so, where the anti-mage wasn't alive slash unable to... didn't really want to fight outside the base in Tages. But definitely, all things said yeah. and done, looking at what's on the table, it really does look like it should be Liquid's game. Yes. They've got to... They've got to come out, as you said, with those traps, with those outplays, catch Miracle somehow alone. And it's going to be very, very hard to do so. Liquid with so much power on the board at this stage of the game. Just making sure to keep all those lanes pushed out. It's going to be a war of, war of the split push for the time being, while Moon is hiding the trees, awaiting his time to be able to ult and keep those lit. Planes Forest, Liquid, keeping up on the aggression. They are smoked up. Do we have bots too on anti-mage? We do, so he can TP in onto his teammates to join in. And here we go, this could get messy for Odd. Who's gonna get caught out on the front of it, Rezo? Rather close at the moment, mind control, with the Vendetta ready to try and close the gap, wrapping around, has eyes on Weeha. He's got the gem though, yeah, he's out. Instantly out, as soon as he spots the Nyx Assassin in the neighborhood, and that should give the information for the rest of Planet Odd to back away from this movement. And Moon goes top right away, as soon as he sees anybody. He's like, all right, time, to, time for the split push. That split push is certainly going to be coming pretty hefty with that AC pickup. The rat can be strong from this nature's profit now. Three aggress very aggressive wards placed by Liquid there during that excursion. And now it's odd, trapped in their base for the time being. And the shrine starting to be claimed by Liquid. Roche looking to respawn in about two minutes or so. It's a little bit of a longer respawn this time around. Moonshard and a double damage on Miracle. Definitely ready to fight. Fully maxed out. Does have the heart and Q. Can always, always put stuff into the backpack to swap out for when the BKB is down, etc. But the BKB is still at, an eight, at a healthy eight seconds. I'm just keeping that top lane shoved in. Liquid not wanting to go for any, any too crazy plays. Whilst that lane is that far out, they know that they can't leave themselves vulnerable to Moon TPing in and, and forcing them back when they need to try and push his five. With that sort of line up bottom lane, we are kind of getting chased around here. They have four members of Liquid, by the looks of it, trying to potentially hunt him down. But uh, we'll keep himself safe. He wants to get in a deep position so he can try to cut waves. It looks like they, someone knows what's up, though. They saw, I think I just saw a ping coming out from... Is that from that Matu behind them? Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're pinging him. Yeah, they have a high ground the ward. Yeah, under the ops ward. Can they actually catch him though? That's the question. Blink into the sideline. Ooh! My goodness, that was so close. Ooh, very close indeed. Mind control nearly grabbing him there. Would have been uh, a pretty insane play. I mean, what's, what's the buyback status? Does he have buyback on the puck? Yeah, puck does. He does. Okay. Nonetheless, that could have been massive. Uh, just trying to keep those lanes shoved out as best as possible. Roche is going to be respawning in about 40 seconds. Weeha is looking to do some ward cleanup with that gem. Just running around looking to see if there were any placed anywhere around. Only finds one so far. We'll find the secondary one in the mid lane very soon. A lot of money on Wee. Can go for that Aghanim. So we'll, we'll see what he does want to. Nothing queued up at the moment. Look at that net worth. He's got double the Troll Warlord. Just anti-mage things. Bottom lane, Miracle actually on the hunt here for Moon. And if he gets the Abyssal Blade down, Moon... Uh-oh. 
I see he's going to be a goner almost. Oh, I say that. Well, with the Shadow Blade, there is no detection. So, not quite getting the bashes that he needed. Unfortunate location, too. The, 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 with the trees yeah. all around, the illusions aren't able to actually focus fire for him to get enough mana burn for the mana void. Lincolns now turn on Rezo. So, something else that Matu has to be careful about playing around when looking to find that Reaper Scythe kill. Yeah, the Lincolns are. That's going to be the double Lincolns now, so they have the two ways to protect him to avoid those. No defensive four steps, though, this time around on the side of Planet Odd. They've got one Glimmer Cape. He's mine. But other than that, no other saving items. No, Roshan up. A liquid in prime position to go for it themselves. Planet Odd definitely with the chance to contest. And we'll see how how much they value contesting Roshan over just shoving out the side lanes. As long as they've got a vision advantage for it, but it looks like Liquid's going to be the one with it this time. They placed the wards down early on, and they are all set up on the left side with their three supports, but only two sit inside the Roche pit. And yeah, Planet Odd unable to do so to fight anything like this right now. Keeping up the split push, Weeha, 6,000 gold, puts the Aghanims back into the quick buy, approaching that level 25. Ags on the puck, and they've definitely got a chance to, to find that very long duration stun through the BKB. Mind control, trying to spot out Weeha. Weeha, as the Lincoln's popped, Miracle has turned up as well if he can land that Abyssal. He's got a chance of getting the kill, but Weeha turns, holds back the anti mage with the Yule Scepter. And uh, they're hunting for him, but Weeha will juke them out. And with the quick blink and TP out, he'll be safe. Avoids the movement and gets back together with the rest of his team towards them, towards his base. Illusion. All this net worth advantage is on the enemy mage. Actually, the more than just that, but <laughs> 11k. And it's surprising because look at the the tricores from Planet Odd. You have the Troll Warlord at 23, Fury on 22, and Pocket 18. All the they have one of the cores on the side of Liquid sitting at 8,000, the Nyx Assassin, but his job is different, you know, because he has the AM on his team. All he is is a, a stun and a disable. It's and here we so go. massive. Matsu with the Aegis, ready to shove up high. Misery already brought down to half health. Has to back off and try up. Can Resolution and the boys hold? That's the question. Tier 3 starting to fall. Saxo jumps in with the quick eggs. Find control. There with the Impale, making sure that Odd don't stick around to commit onto the kill. Go Shrouds out. Matsu keeping the distance. They need to do something similar to what Liquid does. As soon as they come up, they need to like blow a couple ultimates or something, just blow them, like kill them instantly, and then focus him on them right afterwards at the Aegis somehow. But it's very hard versus the side of Liquid with that Earth Shaker sitting in the back line to counter initiate as well as the Rubik. Now this poking and prodding attempt from Liquid certainly working out in the sense that they get that tier three. Will they get any more though? That's the question. We'll find out after the break. Magic, we're not going anywhere. We're back in. The pause is already over. <laughs> Just a quick freeze. Just Gordon a quick one. And here we go. Next time on Liquid versus Planet Odd. There's the jump in. Reaper side will land on attacks, but in fact, they regen from the shrine, keeps him alive. Miracle's actually getting He's bashed, bashed down. down. Rezo gets the bash. That's going to be one down. Look towards Batumba. They take down the ages, jump forward for the Shaker, but immediately. The Hex and the Silence forcing him back out. They're still all alive for the time being. Finally, they get a kill onto the Nature's Prophet. But definitely a successful hold for Planet Odd. It's actually, oh, he's buying back. Miracle is not happy. Buy back in return for the Nation's Prophet. They're going all in here, oh showing God. their full hand. Liquid committing heavily. Miracle gets on his dub. He's trapped up by the trees. He cannot afford to die back here. But Liquid, with that AM buyback, they want to finish this now. Bottom tower is dying to double, se double siege creeps, too. I mean, they're going to get the racks with his buyback. The Hex is there. Miracle has to be so careful. Jumping again, we with the silence, so they will get the racks off the back of it. If they can actually stop some TPs, maybe that those catapults can do something, but no, not able to actually get that chase out. A little bit too afraid still for Planet Odd to go straight out out there. But yeah, racks claimed. That was with the Ravage not actually hitting the anti mage there either. He got the BKB up before, but Rezo just with the complete bash lock on him. So buying back, claiming the racks, would you say this is worth for the AM? He has to be very careful of his positioning, that's all. It could be worth it as long as you don't, you know, you don't die now. 
but yeah, definitely worth it just to buy and get a Rax like that, okay. especially with this team. You get a lot of momentum coming out of it. Did but yeah, still has to, really has to watch out his positioning. They have to play pretty much around him now exclusively. Force the buy back out of Moon as well and, yeah. well and return, so. Definitely. Certainly getting a, a worthy trade for that buyback. What's the plan now? Axe for Ruby. Big items coming out. As we get to these later stages of the game, 53 minutes in, AC, completed by Miracle. Bloodthorn, done on Moon. Bloodthorn Moon, Weeha with the Axe. Weeha also level 25 with that 420 GPM, so we'll start seeing him skyrocket up on that net worth. I mean, this is the thing, though. Odno, if they catch Miracle, they could do it here. Get that 3-1 victory in the Grand Finals here at Dream League Season 7. Bottom Rax is exposed. Miracle's making his way in. Look at this man, AC in the stash, he's so, so farmed. He cannot hold all his items. Literally eight slotted, with not even not like small items, all big items. Here we go, go. Siege, can, siege begins, top lane as well, Planet Odd going yeah. for their own Siege. I mean, they are gonna lose this Rex, no doubt about it. Liquid taking this with incredible ease, no backing up at all. Planet Odd just looking for a trade. Wards are down, but Liquid are going to have the chance to react. Jumping forward, landing the stern onto the Troll Warlord. Serpent Wards focusing the melee racks. They should at least get the melee in return. But Tumor Man turns, Reaper Sipes out there. It goes hammering down onto Rezo. Down for two minutes. Miracle committing with a BKB, looking towards Moon. Moon trying to get himself out of there. Pots the trees out around him, turns around with the silence, but Moon's taken down as well. That'll be a dieback on the Nature's Prophet, out for 100 seconds. The rest of Planet Odd will get themselves back to safety. So they get the racks. They do lose two of their cores for it, and of course, at the same time, Liquid themselves getting the bottom racks in return. Even with the double Lincolns, there's just too many ways to proc it. They, they popped both, and they were still able to get the Necro Reaper Scythe onto him, just because of all the targeting spells they do have. They do get the racks, yeah, but it's now it's two racks lead for Liquid. Just each trade now at this stage of the game, favoring Liquid, no doubt about it. And it are just struggling to get enough in return. But my goodness, are they trying. Radiant's top tower is under attack. And Liquid ready to start to get information. They want to get that buyback. Absolutely. They know there's still 50 seconds without no second chance from the Furion. This could be where they can end the game. They One more kill on the same plays from Planet Odd. Yeah, this could be the end. This could be the lead into the game five. If Liquid can close it here. Jump four from Miracle. Ready to go in onto the tier threes. There's the buyback from the troll. Misery comes in, does get the four man Ravage. They've got the Shackle as well. Have they got the damage? No, the E-Blade actually coming out there, buying some time here, but the chain bashes are coming through. There's the Echo though for GH, jumps in, gets the trap onto Rezo. The Glimmer Cape's not enough to get him out of there. And Liquid just moving for more. They take down Misery. There's the Yule set up onto Saxa. Yules upon Yules upon Yules, but he's still gone. Dag on from a Timmerman, gets the kill, and we're going to a game. Game five, Liquid taking game four. The anti-mage too damn strong, Fog. Anti-mage.